Hello everyone, my name is Wen Chong Xiao from Alibaba Group. Today I will talk about our work, Antman, Dynamic Scaling on GPU Clusters for Deep Learning. This is a joint work with my colleagues Shi Ru, Li Yong, Zhang Yang, Heng Yang Li Zhi, Yi Hui Ling Wei, and Yang Qing. Nowadays, Deep Learning already powers several widely used products, spreading across the fields including computer vision, language understanding, speech recognition, recommendation, advertisement, and so on. Therefore, it has become a vector workload integrated into the production pipelines at scale. To keep the GPUs in high utilization, large companies such as Alibaba open build multi-tenant GPU clusters for deep learning workloads. To understand the status of shared multi-tenant GPU clusters today, we conduct a profiling on a cluster with more than 5,000 heterogeneous GPUs. As shown in this figure, only 20% of the GPUs are running applications that consumes more than half of the GPU memory. For a computation unit, only 10% of the GPUs achieve higher than 80% of GPU utilization. This statistic indicates that both the GPU memory and the computation unit are not being fully utilized, and thus wasting the expensive hardware resources. We further look into the reasons behind such low utilization. In production deep learning clusters, distributed multi-GPU training is essential to process massive amounts of the data. Multi-GPU training jobs require gun scheduling, which means a job will not start unless all the required GPUs are simultaneously available. However, in a cluster, that is hard to achieve. Intuitively, the more resources a job requires, the more GPU cycles are wasted in idle waiting mode due to the partial resource reservations. Our statistics here support such a point. In addition to the idle wasting from job scheduling, our observation finds that deep learning jobs usually cannot fully utilize all the GPU resources all along. Here we present a showcase, a speech training model using ESPNet to train a deep learning model while monitoring the model quality at the same time. The deep learning pipeline contains several phases, including training, audio decoding, evaluation, and so on. It shows that the jobs has a dynamic resource demand on both GPU SM and GPU memory. Therefore, the GPU resources cannot be fully utilized if the job executes exclusively. A naive approach to address such low utilization is to share GPUs to multiple jobs. However, this introduced some challenges. First, for resource guarantee jobs, that is the jobs that are granted with resource quota, we need to ensure their job performance, same as dedicated execution. Moreover, with GPU sharing, the concurrent jobs can introduce memory contention which can probably cause the failure of the training jobs, especially considering the case that dynamic resource demand happens. The GPU memory demands might suddenly increase. To address the challenges mentioned above, we leverage the opportunities in the unit list of deep learning training. As shown in the figure, even though the deep learning training can use as much as 32 to 40 gigabyte GPU memory, only a small portion of such GPU memory is used to store the persistent deep learning model. 90% of the deep learning models occupies only 500 megabyte GPU memory. The majority of the GPU memory is allocated and freed within the same many batches. Moreover, the deep learning training cycle is also very small. 80% of the task consumes a mini batch within 600 milliseconds. Therefore, such characteristics are utilized in several ways. Firstly, due to the small model size in common, the majority of the GPU memory could be scheduled among the co-executing jobs. Secondly, mini-batch cycles are generally quite small. This allows fast resource coordination between jobs. Thirdly, mini-batches are similar. Therefore, the mini-batch time can be created as a performance metric to quantify interference. We propose Antman, a deep learning infrastructure aiming to co-executed jobs on shared GPUs to increase the cluster resource utilization. 
Antman ensured the performance of resource guarantee jobs, same as what it is in the dedicated execution without interference. At the same time, opportunistic jobs are introduced to boost the overall cluster utilization. Next, I will first present the dynamic scaling mechanisms of Antman introduced in the deep learning frameworks in both memory and computation. Then, I will introduce the overall architecture about how to leverage such new mechanisms, different from the existing deep learning frameworks that designs for executing in dedicated GPUs. Antman is designed for sharing. Antman keeps monitoring the actual GPU memory usage of deep learning jobs and adjusts the GPU memory upbound to appropriate fit. In this way, the spare GPU memory can be utilized by other jobs. However, as mentioned before, due to the dynamic resource demand, in some cases, a deep learning job might require more GPU memory than is currently available during its execution. This could fail the whole job by running out of GPU memory because the GPU memory is limited by an upper bound. To handle this case, Antman introduced universal memory it uses the CPU host memory to cache the burst requests and adjusts the upper limit of memory at the boundary of the mini batches. At T0, the memory requirement of the running deep learning job increase. At the moment, the GPU memory upper bound is below the sum of the requirements of all the tensors. Due to the limited upper limit of the GPU memory, it is impossible to place all the tensors in GPU. Antman used its greatest effort to allocate tensors on the GPU devices. However, tensors can be allocated outside of the GPUs with the host memory if the GPU memory is still lacking. At the same time, Antman detects the usage of the host memory. At T1, it raises the GPU memory's upper limit, which allows the tensors to be allocated back to the GPU devices automatically for the next mini batch. Moreover, a training job, for example, an opportunistic job, must shrink to secure the GPU resources for other jobs and goes back if the GPU memory is sufficient. As shown in this figure, the GPU memory usage of a deep learning job scale down at T0 and scale up at T1. Therefore, it secures the usage of the remaining GPU memory between T0 and T1 for jobs running in the same shared GPU. In this way, the job training of the opportunistic job continues with the CPU memory at best effort, while the memory usage of other high priority jobs can be guaranteed. Next, we use an example to introduce how Antman avoids interference with the dynamic scaling computation mechanism. The exclusive mode figure shows job A executes on a dedicated GPU. In short, six GPU kernels are placed in order and executed one by one. The GPU is now in low utilization as some GPU cycles are idle. To utilize such idle cycles, job B is scheduled on this GPU. The GPU is now busy. However, the execution of job B's GPU kernels delays execution of job A's GPU kernels, leading to the performance interference for job A. The interference mainly came from the lack of ability to control the execution frequency of job B's GPU kernels. To address this issue, we introduce GPU OP Manager in Deep Learning Framework. GPU OP Manager takes over the execution of all the GPU operators. It controls the launching frequency by delaying the execution of GPU operators. It is achieved by introducing idle time slots before launching GPU operators. In this way, a new primitive is introduced to limit the GPU utilization of a deep learning training job. Next, I will introduce the architecture of Antman to demonstrate how we leverage those new mechanisms to schedule deep learning jobs. Antman adopts a hierarchical architecture where the global scheduler is responsible for job scheduling. Each working server contains a local coordinator. 
the local coordinator is responsible for two items. First, it collects the device statistics and job statistics to construct a local statistic view. Second, it coordinates the job execution using the in mechanisms introduced above to manage each job's GPU memory usage and the computation cycle usage. Global Scheduler aggregates the local statistics reported by the local coordinator and therefore it can make scheduling decisions to launch opportunistic jobs to the free list GPUs. Due to the limited time for the scheduling policy details, please refer to our paper. Next, I will show some evaluation results and conclude our work. First, we introduce some micro-benchmark to evaluate the newly proposed mechanisms of Antiman in memory and computation management. To demonstrate the efficiency of Antman in memory management, we manually trigger memory shrink and growth to measure its overhead. For memory shrinkage, freezing the GPU memory used by the ResNet model takes only 70 milliseconds. The memory growth is together as the boarding path of deep learning training. Therefore, we measure the growth overhead by comparing two mini-batches. The second mini-batch reuse the cached memory of the first mini-batch. For ResNet, the memory allocation overhead in the memory growth is only 150 milliseconds. Using the same approach, we measure four typical workloads and the result indicates that the memory management of Antman is efficient with only 0.4% of overhead, even though we conduct the memory scaling for every minute. The second micro benchmark focuses on the computation management. As a shared cluster, it is critical to ensure the opportunistic jobs only utilize the spare resources, which cannot affect the performance of resource guarantee job. Antman achieved that using adaptive computation. Here, we conduct a micro benchmark using ESPNet, a speech to text deep learning model as a resource guarantee job. We use a ResNet 50 model as an opportunistic job. Note that in this experiment, the sum of GPU memory usage of both jobs is still within the capacity of our 32 gigabyte V100 GPU. As shown in the subfigure A, without any resource constraint, the GPU utilization of ESPNet is generally low. We observe that the end-to-end -end performance of a ESPNet model is 105 minutes, more than five times longer than the time of its dedicated execution. Therefore, co-executing a ResNet 50 job will interfere the performance of the ESPNet, leading to SLA violation. As shown in the subfig B in Antman, by leveraging the dynamic scaling mechanism, we coordinate two jobs. The GPU utilization of ResNet is limited to ensure the performance of ESPNet. In this way, ESPNet consumes higher GPU utilization compared to what it is in the packing mode. Finally, its end-to-end -end execution time is almost the same compared to the execution in the dedicated GPU. Note that in 140 to 390 seconds, in the decoding phase of ESPNet, it runs without consuming GPU computation cycles. Therefore, it may automatically increase the computation unit usage of ResNet and the ResNet reach a higher utilization to 90%. We conduct trace experiment on a 64V100 GPU cluster to compare Antman to the capacity scheduler and Gandiva, a state-of-the-art deep learning scheduler. The subfig A shows that the average job completion time and the max band for these square three schedulers. Compared to the capacity scheduler and Gandiva, Antman improves the overall JCT by 2.05 times 
and 1.84 times respectively. The total max span is also reduced quite a lot. As shown in subfigure B, we compare Antman to Young's capacity scheduler with a hard preemption to procure the opportunity jobs. The red and green lines are very close. The job completion time of those resource guarantee jobs is almost identical. Therefore, Antman ensures the SLAs for resource guarantee jobs. Antman is now deployed in all the GPU cluster of Alibaba Pi. Here we report the statistics in April 2020 compared to the number we collect in December 2019, right before the deployment of Antman. The cluster we show here is a production GPU cluster, which is equipped with more than 5,000 heterogeneous GPUs running important production deep learning training workloads to support our core businesses, such as search recommendations, advertisement, image, language understanding for Taobao. The comparison shows that Antman provides more than 17% of extra GPUs for opportunistic deep learning training jobs in this cluster. Hardware statistics shows that Antman achieves a 42% improvement on average for GPU memory usage and a 34% improvement on average for the GPU utilization. The queuing delay on average reduced more than two times and the tailed latency significantly reduced by more than an order of magnitude thanks to the cluster throughput improvement. The interference analysis in Table 5 shows that 99% of the jobs suffer zero performance downgrade during the job call execution. In conclusion, we present Antman, a deep learning infrastructure deployed in Alibaba. Antman introduced dynamic scaling primitives in deep learning frameworks, allowing flexible fine-grained control of GPU resources for individual deep learning jobs at runtime. By utilizing the effective primitives mentioned above, Antman maximizes GPU utilizations using opportunistic jobs while avoiding job interference. Antman improves the overall GPU memory utilizations and computation unit utilizations of Alibaba's GPU cluster quite a lot without compromising fairness. The code of Antman is now open source in GitHub. You can also try our deep learning cloud productions, Pi DLC a cloud-native deep learning training platform on Alibaba Cloud. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your listening.